Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. By far the biggest complaint people have about the Amazon Fire TV Stick is the lack of internal storage. Even the latest and greatest version, the Fire TV Stick 4K Max only comes with 8 gigabytes of storage. To make matters worse, 2 or 3 gigs of that storage is preloaded with system files that you can't remove. This leaves you with only 5 or 6 gigs available to load up all your favorite apps. If you've been a Fire Stick user for any length of time, you probably know these two things. One, five gigabytes isn't nearly enough. And two, adding USB storage to the Amazon Fire Stick has been a royal pain in the tuchus. Well, that's in the past. It's 2023, and thanks to the recent updates of the newest Fire Stick's operating system, adding additional storage has never been easier. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the simple process of adding two different types of USB storage to the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max. By the time you finish watching this step-by-step -step video, I'll be shocked if you don't get right on Amazon to order USB drives for all your Fire TV Sticks. So, if you're ready to learn how simple it has become to increase the pitiful storage space on your new Amazon Fire Stick, sit back, relax, and let's go. The two questions I get asked most by new cord cutters are, do I need a VPN and which VPN is best? The short answer to both of those questions is, it depends. If you're someone who takes their privacy seriously and enjoys unofficial streaming apps or torrenting, you should use a VPN to keep your information encrypted and private. The VPN I recommend depends on where you live. If you're here in the US like me, I'd suggest trying IPVanish. It's the fastest and helps minimize buffering, while here in the United States, where nearly everything is available, unblocking content isn't as important. If I were outside the U.S., however, I'd suggest ExpressVPN. I feel it does a better job at un-geo-blocking the content available here in the U.S. while you're not. In either case, if you're in the market for a VPN subscription and would like to try either one, you'll find links in the description below for the best price you'll get anywhere. Clicking on these links also helps in a small way to support the Cord Cutters Ally channel. Before I get started showing you how to add all this storage, we need to get some terminology out of the way. As I said earlier, there are two basic types of storage that you can configure a USB drive for. The first type is internal storage. This storage can be used to install additional apps on. Other terms used to describe internal storage are system storage or device storage. I know all these different words for the same thing is confusing, but depending on where you are in the Fire Stick's interface, you will see these three terms used interchangeably. Just remember, internal, system, or device storage all mean the same thing, and they're used mainly for installing apps on. The second type is called external storage. This type is used for storing content other than apps, like movies and TV shows and other files. Regardless of which type of storage you'll be adding to your Amazon Fire Stick, you will need this inexpensive device called the OTG cable. If you look at the Fire Stick closely, you'll see that the power port is much smaller than a USB drive, so you, there's no place to plug it in. The OTG cable comes with a place to plug in to the power port. You have a place to plug in the USB drive. And then you also have a place to plug in the power. Before you connect your USB drive to your Fire Stick, it's very important to decide which type of storage you'll be needing, device storage or external storage. You can't really change your mind afterwards without starting from scratch. All right, that's enough information to get started for now. After we go over the steps to add each of these types of storage, I'll share some ground rules when it comes to using the USB drives for your Amazon Fire Sticks. These are very important and should not be missed, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I said earlier that the USB drive needs to be formatted to FAT32. This 256 gigabyte drive that I just showed you a moment ago is right from the store. It is not touched. It's probably formatted in what they call XFAT filing system. Um, not directly compatible with the Fire Stick. You've got two choices. You can plug it in and you can let the Fire Stick format it for you, or you can format it ahead of time to FAT32 with the AOMI Partition Assistant or a program like Rufus or something like that. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and plug it in. I have my Fire Stick plugged in with my um, OTG cable. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the factory um, untouched uh, 256 gig drive and show you what happens here. So this is the message that you're going to see. It says, unable to read USB device. So you have three options here. You can have the Fire Stick formatted for you as device storage, which will allow you to install apps on it. 
You can have the Fire Stick format it for you um, as external storage for storing things like files or maybe saving, um, you know, having your apps save uh, to the drive, like for as a DVR, so to speak, um, to save movies and TV shows and so on. Um, also, if you do the external storage option, that drive is then usable um, on another computer. You can shut down your Fire Stick and move that to another computer to put some files on, bring it back, fire up your Fire Stick, and then that will be usable again. If you have, uh, if you format it to device storage, that's it. It's never going to be used for anything else except for that Fire TV device. Your third option is to do nothing. I'm going to choose do nothing because I'm going to shut down my Fire Stick and remove it. And then I'm going to go to my computer and format it to FAT32 first. Um, and then watch what, then you'll see what happens when I come back um, and do this again. Moments later. Okay, so now I am back uh, from formatting my 256 gigabyte SanDisk drive as FAT32. I use my computer and the AOMI Partition Assistant program. Now let's see what happens when we uh, plug in the USB drive to the OTG cable again. You'll see a different message this time. Let's give it a moment, and in the bottom right-hand corner, you will see a message that says, limited device access. Fire TV cannot access apps on this USB device. So you can hit the menu button to show more. It says your USB drive is using a file system that is incompatible with the uh, 4K Max apps. For me, I'm gonna choose no because I want this to be used for external storage, uh, to be able to you know, move from my computer to my Fire Stick and be able to move files and movies and TV shows or whatever, or whatever other kind of content I want to share on my Fire Stick. So I'm gonna say no. And that's it. So now you can go ahead and you can save stuff to this drive from your Fire Stick. You can eject it and move it over to your computer and, and save some files there if you want to. In fact, let's do that real briefly. Let's go ahead and pause this. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put a movie that I have bought and I've saved to file. I'm going to put this on the Fire Stick and show you um, how easy this is. Be right back. 12 seconds later. Okay, I am back. I want to show you briefly in this Explore app. I've added a folder called, let me move myself out of the way here. I've added a folder called Movies. And I put one movie in there, Creed. Um, let's go out to home. We'll open up a player and we'll go ahead and play this movie from the USB drive. I haven't opened up um, VLC yet, but let's do this. It says here, it says new external storage detected. Do you want VLC to add this to your media library? Yes, we do. And as you see here, there we go. Fast forward a little bit. But there we are, it's playing. I'm not gonna continue playing it because I don't have the licenses for that. So that's it, that's as simple as that. That's how to add external storage. You really don't have to do anything. You basically plug in a drive right from the store or you can format it in FAT32 on your computer like I did and just plug it in and just don't make any changes to it and you can use it um, on your Fire Stick for external uh, storage. So that's the external storage portion of the video. I'm going to now shut it all down. I'm going to pre-format my 64 gigabyte uh, USB drive to FAT32 um, on my computer. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to format, I'm going to have the Fire Stick format that for device storage or system storage or internal storage and whatever words you want to use. Okay, I am back. I have formatted my 64 gigabyte drive as FAT32 and I'm plugging it in to the OG OTG cable. Same thing here, it says limited. It says limited options. We can just go into, I missed the menu button, but that's the same thing. I can go in here and go down to My Fire TV and go to USB drive. I can format this to internal storage, and that is what I want to do in this case because I want to format my 64 gigabyte drive for internal storage or system storage uh, or device storage. As I said, remember around the interface, they use different terms. So let's format for internal storage. Depending on the size of the drive, this is going to take a, a couple of moments to a few minutes. This is a 64 gig drive, so I would imagine that this is going to take uh, you know, probably 30, 40 seconds or so. Moments later. 
Okay, so when it gets done, it says your USB drive has been formatted. You can now use this USB drive to transfer data to Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. So what we can do here now is basically any apps that are capable of being installed on the internal um, or device storage will be installed on the USB drive from here on out. Some apps can be moved to that uh, USB internal or device storage as well. So anyway, let's go into the gear and we will go down to my Fire TV and now we'll go into USB drive. So there's a, so this looks a little different than it did before. You could change this to format to external storage um, because right now, as we said, it's currently installed for internal or device storage. But let's go into manage installed apps and you will be able to see the stuff that's on the USB drive, which should be none, right? You go into what's installed on the USB drive only and there's nothing there. And then when you go to internal only, it should be all the apps will show up. So some apps can be moved. So if you go to, I will go down to the VLC player that we just installed, for example, if you click on that, it'll say move to USB storage. So you can do that. Click on move to USB storage. It'll take a moment or two. That's it. So now when you go back into storage, manage, manage your installed applications, as you can see, you have VLC and you have that little USB drive next to it. And that's showing the apps on USB only. You can show all applications if you want to. And as you go down the list, you will see that none of these have USB symbols on them until you get down to VLC and that one does. Now I've shown you how to move um, an app that is movable to um, device storage or system storage, but uh, let's go ahead and install a, a new app and let's see, um, as I said, um, many apps, if they are capable of in being installed on, um, you know, the USB um, internal de or device storage, it will install from this point on. So let's go ahead and install an app. Let's find one. Um, I don't know. Let's find a game, for example. Um, Crossy Road, popular game. We'll install that and uh, let's see where it goes. Okay, so I'm not going to open it up quite yet. Uh, let's go over to the gear and we'll go down over to manage installed applications and see where that installed. And we can tell by the little USB symbol over there, right there, that uh, it is installed on the USB drive as we intended. So there we go. So now if we go back to him, just, just so I can show you as well, if you go down to My Fire TV and you go to the USB drive, it will tell you there that you have, uh, we've only installed a couple of little things on here. 59.9 uh, gigs is, is still available out of the 60 something gigs available um, from when we started. So there you go. That's how to configure a USB dr thumb drive for internal device storage. Uh, for adding apps. So I would recommend, you know, like I did uh, 32 gigabytes for um, internal storage or device storage for apps. Um, if you look into, if, if you're more in need of um, adding external storage for saving movies and TV shows, you can uh, use a much larger drive, let's say, you know, 256, 512, or even one terabyte uh, drive for that kind of thing. Um, 32 gigs should be more than enough for internal system storage though. Next, we're gonna look at those ground rules that I was telling you about. Okay, these aren't necessarily in any order. Do not install power apps on the USB. By power apps, I mean things that are very um, power or memory intensive or processor intensive, things like um, the K Media Center or the, um, you know, your IP Vanish or VPNs, things like that. Um, you're not gonna to wanna to put those onto the USB um, device storage because it's probably going to give you some more lagging and things um, along those lines. Next thing, you don't ever want to uh, remove the USB drive without powering down the Fire Stick. You do have the option to hit the eject, but I feel it's a lot quicker and easier. Just unplug the power cord um, and then you can um, remove the USB drive if you need to, especially if you have the internal um, 
or device storage um, configured, you absolutely do not want to pull that out in the middle um, while it's powered up because then likelihood is that some of those apps that you've installed on there uh, could get messed up. Next thing is uh, not all apps will install on the USB uh, internal device storage. You know, it's going to be hit or miss. There are many apps that are available on the Amazon App Store that just won't install. And this has to do with um, the way that some of those apps were written. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit of a trial and error thing. Go ahead and uh, go down the list and see which ones can be moved um, and, uh, you know, act accordingly. This last one isn't so much a ground rule, it's more of a preference. And this is something that I like to do. Um, rather than letting the uh, Fire Stick format the drives um, by themselves, I like to format them on a computer ahead of time. This allows me to name uh, the drive something descriptive. Like, uh, for example, these these drives, I used a 32 gig and a 256 gig drive. I named them SanDisk 32 and SanDisk 256. So this way, when you see them on the USB drive, um, either in the X drive file utility or elsewhere, you will know uh, which drive you have rather than having to look at it. So anyway, there you go. That is a rather large or lengthy video, but I've covered a lot of stuff. Hopefully you learned something, how to install um, very easily um, internal um, device or system storage on your Fire Stick for adding apps, and then subsequently, separately, um, not the same drive, not the same Fire Stick necessarily, um, install external storage for other things like movies, TV shows, and things that you can record um, from your Fire Stick or you can move from your computer um, to the USB drive that can be played on your Fire Stick later. So lots of different options for adding storage to your Fire Stick. There really isn't an excuse any longer to complain that your Fire Stick storage isn't enough. You can now add. It's much easier than it's ever been before. So if you learned anything in today's video, please go ahead and click that like button. I do um, appreciate you subscribing to the channel and sharing all the videos that you like with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.